Bulletproof, nothing to lose. Fire away, fire away. Hi, this is Anna Kendrick, author and narrator of the audiobook Scrappy Little Nobody. The book is mostly silly and funny, or I hope that it is mostly silly and funny. If it were up to me, I wouldn't have had any serious parts in it at all. And there are a couple of serious parts because I was totally bullied into making some serious parts by some very helpful people. But I want it to just be dark and funny and weird and, you know, I just want it to like haunt people and ruin their lives, but like in a way that they enjoy. I wouldn't call it a memoir. I would put it in comedy thriller. I'd call it a comedy thriller genre. Is there a section of the bookstore for that? I'll be the first. It'll just be my book. Great. I thought it would be fun to write it at this point. Like, I could die tomorrow. It would be a good thing that I wrote my fake memoir. Hopefully I'll have a lot more interesting experiences, but, you know, I thought I'd put down some stuff. And that way, you know, when I write, like, my fifth book, I can just write from, like, 30 onward, 40 onward, you know, just gonna become a like Stephen King style prolific, really. Eventually it'll be like the Goosebumps series and I'll get somebody else to start writing about my experiences, but they'll probably be better at coming up with like death-defying escapades for me. So those ones will actually probably be better, but in order to understand them, you're going to have to read the first book in the series. Sorry about that. If it had been up to me, the whole thing just would have been an audiobook. When I was writing it, there was a point when I was like, can I ask them if it's possible to just do an audiobook and, like, redefine the whole genre? Because I feel like I am a pretty bad communicator, and I put a lot of things across with inflection. So I was really nervous about being misunderstood, except on the audiobook. I was like, oh, they'll get what I mean if it's on the audiobook. Um, so I had to work really hard to make the written stuff make sense and make sure that my tone was coming across right. But the audiobook felt a lot easier. I was like, oh, they'll know what I mean. This is the most somebody's ever let me talk for three days straight. And I think I like it. The idea of like some other person reading it in a really robotic demeanor I feel like all the meaning would get lost, and I wouldn't like that. And I also got to, like, scream some of the stuff. But don't worry, we have very talented sound engineers making sure that we don't bust your eardrums. It'll all be at the same volume, but, you know, sometimes there are parts where you wish a book could just scream at you. So if you're the kind of person who reads a book and is like, I just don't feel assaulted by sound, then this audiobook is for you. I think I would cast James Corden as me. I feel like round-faced lovable British talk show host really captures my essence. And he's a very, very beautiful singer, so he could just sing lines of it. I feel confident that he could make up some nice melodic phrasing for some of the more boring passages, really liven them up.